Welcome to the next video of Java multi-threading interview series. So this video is about thread priority, uh, which could be asked to Java developers up to two years of experience. So let's get started. So each thread has a priority associated with it. And uh, this priority tells uh, thread scheduler how it should be treated in case multiple threads are waiting to get CPU time. And we know that CPU time is very scarce resource and the only thread with the highest priority should be treated first and the lower priority thread should wait. So only when a highest priority thread stops, yields or comes in a non-runnable state, a thread with lower priority will start executing. For example, uh, consider a scenario uh, where, where you are going for a concert and uh, we know that most expensive concert pass holders usually enjoy the front seats, okay? And the people with the least expensive pass are far from the center stage. So this, this similar thing has happened uh, in case of thread priorities also. So Java runtime supports deterministic scheduling algorithm known as, known as fixed priority scheduling. This algorithm schedules threads based on their priority relative to other runnable threads. So if two threads of same priority available, then scheduler chooses them in round robin manner. And obviously, if a highest priority thread is available, then that should be executed first. So priority is represented as an integer value and all threads carry normal priority until specified explicitly by using set priority method. Okay. And uh, when a Java thread is created, it inherits property from parent thread. For example, uh, uh, if you create a thread from the main method, our custom thread priority will be same as main thread priority. So I'll, I'll give you one example on this. Let's move to Java workspace. So this is my Java class. Uh, I have one class thread priority demo. And in main method, uh, I'm creating uh, one custom thread uh, as a Lambda expression. So thread class has one method, current thread. That this is a static method, which give you a main, which give you thread instance so first I'm uh, getting a main thread instance and then I'm printing the name and priority of main thread. Then I'm creating custom thread and inside uh, the Lambda expression, I'm printing the same for custom thread also. Okay. So both of these statements should print uh, priority as five. Okay. Let's run this. Yeah. Both are having priority as five. Now let's change the current main thread priority to 10. You can call set priority method. So thread class has uh, three uh, constants uh, for priority, max priority, mean and norm. So let's say that we assign max priority to main thread. So our custom thread is getting created from main thread. So our custom thread priority should be same as the main thread. So now custom should have priority as 10. So let's run this again. Yeah, so both are having 10 as priority. Let's move on. So uh, this is already covered. You can check the priority using get priority method. So now we already covered that uh, we have uh, three constants, min priority, norm priority, and max priority. So min priority is having value as one, norm as five, and max as 10. Okay, so also priority should be set before invoking start method because once you call start method that reaches runnable state. So sometimes uh, interviewer can ask you a question like uh, what happens when you pass value outside range in set priority. So let's go to Java workspace. Now uh, in the previous program we set the priority as max priority. Let's say if I pass myself as 1000, what will happen? So you'll get illegal argument exception. So if you go to set priority method, so you can see that it checks the new priority value. If it is more than max priority or less than min priority, you get illegal argument exception. So I can run this also. Yeah, you can see that illegal argument exception. Let's move on. The best practice for thread priority is to always use default value. So OS scheduler may choose to run a lower priority thread to prevent starvation, okay? So you should not rely on thread priority for algorithmic correctness. So let's move to the demo part. 
so i created one uh, java tutor class uh, which in which i created two threads uh, spell check and uh, write doc so consider this as uh, you know word document type application where you can write something and uh, there will be spell check performed okay so we know that uh, for a document application writing a doc is more important than spell check so let's say that uh, you know you created two threads one is spell check and write doc in which you are printing this thread name and the priority and uh, after that uh, i'm assigning max value to the write doc and uh, min value to the spell check and i'm starting spell check first okay and write doc later on so as per max priority write doc should be executed first and spell check should be executed after that so let's run this yeah you can see write doc with priority 10 and spell check with priority 1 is after write doc now i've removed the priority thing and i'm starting spell check first and write doc later so let's see what will happen now spell check should be executed first and then write doc yeah you can see spell check is first and write doc is second because both are having default value and they are, they will be executed in round robin manner and this is why spell check is first so this is it from the thread priority section uh, thanks for watching and do subscribe for more videos thank you bye